Welcome to Art with McKenzie. Thanks for being here so we can do some art together. We are going to make something awesome. Be sure to check out my website and Etsy page for all kinds of cool art for your home. And welcome back. Today we are going to be focusing on our dinosaur feet. So get your dinosaur model open and let's just jump right into it. Now, if you haven't already, go watch my YouTube video on how to sculpt a claw, because we're going to add that, and we're going to finagle these feet a little bit to uh, accept the claw, and uh, I'll show you how we do that now. So if you haven't done that, go check it out, because uh, I'm about to add it into our dinosaur model. And to do that, we will go into File and you'll see two options link and append now from what i've learned if you link another blender object you are actually linking it to its original file so whatever you modify here will modify in the original file i haven't gotten that to work but that's supposedly what it does so what we're going to do anyway is append which means we're just going to attach it to our current model and that's what we will do now so click append so we'll add that mesh and it might show up in a weird spot which is fine there it is and you'll see our number of triangles has increased dramatically over here in the upper right hand corner is the cylinder we'll put this one as outer claw and if we get rid of it you will see our triangles drop back down to 98,000. So we'll open that back up. We'll get our front view and we'll start moving it. Hit GX. Get it out. Our side view. Rotate on the X to get it about where we need. GZ. GY. Yeah, it's getting pretty close. So now we're going to scale it. S to scale. There we go. That looks pretty good so far. And we'll rotate it on the Z axis to get it lined up. Now we're going to free move it on the G. And just get it about where it needs to be. From here, we'll just keep using G to get it in. And as you see, the edges where it combines, that's what we're looking for. So we will keep that right there. And that is way underneath where we have it cut off. So we'll go on the side and we'll rotate it a bit. G to move. That's yeah, looking better. Ooh. Claw, rotate on the Z a bit, G to move, and that'll be good for now. It's a good starting point. But we need, whoa, we need the toe on the other side. So if you remember, we'll go to our mirror uh, modifiers, we'll add the mirror, the little drippy tool mirror object will be our dinosaur and boom she's on the other side don't need to worry about clipping uh, because we're not modifying anything on each side of itself so we will grab it shift D to duplicate we'll bring it up like we always do with G, rotate on the Z. And we want to get this lined up with the line of the toe. So get it as close as you can for now. That looks good. We'll duplicate it again. Shift D. Bring it over to this toe. Rotate on the Z. G to move. Angle our 
to rotate. You need to move. Looks pretty good. If I rotate that up a little bit again, boom. We'll rotate you down, boom. Now our dinosaur has claws. We're going to wait for this inner toe until we get this uh, moved out a little bit more. But for now, this is what we're looking for. We're going to work on the toes a little bit of our dinosaur. But before we do that, let's click on these toes and rename them. Middle. Click on this one. We'll rename this one. Enter. I'll just get rid of this 002 because that uh, defines it away from. When you duplicate, it'll add its own numerical value to differentiate the names between. But that's where we want so far. That looks good. Okay, we'll click on our dinosaur and we will get into sculpting. As I've said before, a Wacom tablet or another similar tablet is crucial for sculpting and modeling. I highly suggest you get one if you're still doing this by a mouse. That is very impressive. And on the left side are our tools. And to show you again, bring the tools in. There will be a double column. Bring it in a little bit further. It's a single column. Bring it all the way out tells you what all your tools are. We are going to grab, eh, we're going to grab our grab tool and we're going to just start gently easing in her feet. And close bracket to make a bigger uh, cursor and open bracket to make it smaller, bigger, smaller. We'll just start working on this outer toe. Oh, before we really start getting at it, up here, I'm going to make sure your X axis is marked. This little butterfly shows you the midline of what it's talking about. So if you're on your X axis, you will see the yellow cursor on the left foot, on the left screen, and uh, the cursor on the right screen. That's just showing you where it is. Mirrored. So we'll come in, we will just grab make your cursor a little bit bigger. We will lightly grab and bring this out. Lightly grab and bring this out. This is all we're doing for now. And it's grabbing all of the vertices that you've added. It's not adding any more. So the more vertices you have, the more areas it has to play with. into edit mode and we'll see where our lines are. That looks good for now. So now that we have those in, back to object mode. Our total number of triangles is just below 200,000. Claws for now. Now that we know they're basically okay. And what do we got to do? Let's add more vertices. To edit mode, front facing. We're going to go to x ray. This x ray will grab everything in front 
from behind. From about her knee down, I'm gonna grab all of those. Now, if you don't have your quick shortcut set up by hitting Q from your quick favorites, we'll come up to uh, Edge and we'll click Subdivide. And we're gonna subdivide all of these vertices, or hit Q and hit Subdivide. have a lot more vertices and we're going to do that one more time and now we'll go back to sculpt get rid of x-ray and now this is where cool stuff happens because when you hit shift we'll make this a little bit smaller hold down shift and run your cursor up the leg it will become extremely smooth. And that's what we're looking for. Because now it has a whole bunch of vertices to smooth out. And be careful around these edges because we don't want them too misshapen. Take your time, smooth out every face that you can. And we don't need to worry about the inside because that is going to be hidden by the toe. and everything so much that you ruin it. I'll show you. This is ruining your model. That's completely flat. Now we just lost the toe. But if you do mess up, that's okay because you just hit Control Z and it'll take it back to a spot that you liked. And if you're going to get to an area where you are concerned just make sure you come up and hit save. Save your work. Always save. It will save for you, but manually saving is just always a good practice. There we go. Just keep hitting shift smoothing everything out this is where most of your detail is going to be it's going to be less detail up here in the legs so for now just this bottom part is what we're focused on There we go. Bring her 
bring it in nice and easy. Change the size of your cursor if you need to. I'm just trying to make it to where it looks like the claw is coming out of her toe pad. I'll bring this forward. This is where your artistry comes in. You can have it look any way you want. This is just the way I am doing it. The way you're doing it will be just fine too. We'll bring your toe pad out a little bit more at the bottom. That's where a lot of the fat is to support her weight. You'll see this on many modern birds, big birds, maybe even the big bird, but mostly ostriches and emus. I have these nice big fat toe pads. And we'll come over to the milk claw. We'll do the same. out. Bring this up. Nice and easy. And it's okay if it goes inside the claw. It's not that big of a deal. We're going to add some mega detail out there later. Right now. good. Okay, come over here. Make your cursor a little bit bigger. I did not soften that out, so I'm hitting shift to do that now. And we'll bring this up forward and up. I can't tell you exactly how every stroke because every stroke is going to be different. You are going to be different. All I can do is kind of show you a path. You take the path and you make the path the way you want it to look. This is how I want mine to look. good. Look, same on both sides. Getting some pretty legs. Alright, we'll come up here. And we'll smooth you out a bit. We'll bring you down. Bring you up. We're just going to keep bringing this down. This up. silly for a moment. Let's 
Slightly, but it's nothing we can't fix. Art is all about making mistakes and fixing them. And this is what we're doing making mistakes and fixing them. We'll come to our draw tool. Side. Draw a little bit on the inside. We're going to close this up a little bit. Big, we'll grab a lot of it to bring in. Yeah, that's a good start now. Now we need we need this little baby claw. Now we need this little baby claw. Make an object, we'll grab this. Shift D to duplicate. And we will bring it around using G. R to rotate. S to scale, G to move, and we'll plug that little bad boy in there. G. G. A little too big, S to scale, there we go, G. There, now we have something to grab onto the claw. So we'll come back here. We will call this our pinky toe. I don't know if it's the pinky toe. That's what I'm calling it. Go back to sculpt. Oh, object. Make sure you click on your dinosaur object. Go back to sculpt. You'll zoom in a bit good angle to see how you're working and bring everything in bring everything in from the inside as best you can Vertices right here. We'll go back into edit and you'll see how everything is kind of cattywampus, but we want to add a lot of detail right here to bring this skin flap in to the claw. So when we go back into sculpt, we're going to come up here to Dynatopo. And click on this box, you will always get this warning saying that you're going to be adding a lot of vertices and faces to your object. So, Alright, hit OK. And then we are going to do subdivide collapse, brush detail, smooth shading. And we'll come to draw. We're just going to tap a little bit. And we're going to be adding lot of polys to this area to work with. This should be it. To edit mode. Now you see all these new polys that we got. 
This was from the Dinatapo. And we have a lot more to work with, a lot more to play with when we go back to sculpting. And when you uh, hop off sculpting, or hop off to edit mode or object mode and go back, your Dinatopo will automatically turn itself off. So we will smooth out all this new geometry real fast. Holding shift. There we go. Back to grab. And you will see you have a lot more to play with. And it does not distort your work at all. So adjust yours as you want. Play with it until you get it looking the way you want it. Hopefully I'm going slow enough for you so we can do this together. If not, you can always pause, work on your dinosaur, and then come back. I like hitting shift to smooth this out. There we go. Looks really good. Got a dime top of it. Okay. Give you weird looks. Uh, make things look a little weird. Um, but now that we're still in sculpt, let us work on her legs some more. She has big old calves. Support that weight. And you can do it several different ways. We're using grab right now. Let's move this out real fast. Another way to beefen up your model is inflate and hold down and rub, and it will inflate. Donkey, let's see how big we can get. Oh, someone didn't skip leg day, but we don't want it that big. So we'll come back here. Now would be a good time to look at our reference. Oh. Yep. We have changed up a lot, so let's fix this reference, go to our grab, and when you do this you want a nice big cursor, so it moves a large area, there we go, bring you in, and just take note of where your cursor is on your model. You and grab you. It'll we'll bring you out. Bring you in. Bring this back out. There we go. We'll see how you're looking. Do you need to be fatter? Yeah, let's make her a little fatter. Beautiful. Oh, oh, do we have something here? Yep, a little bit. Again. There we go. Get off our x ray mode. She's back to the good profile. Let's see what she looks like from the front. Ooh, she does look chunky in her legs. That's okay. We can fix that anytime. Let's fix that now because she does look weird. So we'll go to the outside, shift. We'll smooth that in a little bit. Too much. Click, click, 
click just a little bit. Now remember, up here you have less vertices, so don't get you know caught up in this area too much for now uh, with your detail because it's going to be slightly different because this will grab more vertices and this is going to grab less and it's just going to look a little bit off. But I like the way that's looking. So let's click, click. Let's keep playing with her feet. is a good time to have references for your feet. You can have dinosaur references you find online. I prefer to have references from birds because the T-Rex is much like a giant bird. So let's see if I can find one for you. I'm object. Shift A image so I have added this reference scale and I'm going to make her feet a lot like this because I like the way this looks big long flat scales and on the side a bunch of tiny scales and along her upper toe these long fat ones again and then this cool brick work, brick work lane type scales and then tiny around her knee that's what we're going to go with This fat flap. So let's add it into our dinosaur sculpt. Make sure our X is still checked. And this is a real easy thing to do. You'll just grab part of her leg and just bring it forward for now. And as you start the uh, more advanced looks of your model, the rest of it will kind of fall into shape. You'll see where things go. This naturally wants to go down. So maybe we'll keep bringing it down. And now you have a leading edge to play with. So you grab it forward and down. Forward and down. And you're just making a little fold. to keep going with more detail so on our reference 
This edge right here is not that big and fat. So I don't want mine to be as big and fat. So I'm going to bring mine in. Just a wee tad. I see it. Object rotate on the Z. stopping point for us for the day. Thank you for doing art with McKinsey. I have enjoyed doing art with you. Please like and subscribe and we'll keep modeling our dinosaur next time and we'll work on our hands.